What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So, may I have permission to speak freely here? Um, of course I can, because this is my channel. But I, I appreciate you guys giving me the time even listening to this video. I, I didn't want to make another Terra Luna Classic video, but I decided that there was something interesting within the live stream that I thought needed to be a topic of its own. Uh, people brought to me, uh, to my attention uh, about Doquan and everything that he has done and how, you know, he may have, you know, scammed the community and how he may be found innocent and all of these other different things that, you know, apply to his situation as it is. Um, but looking back on what Terra Luna Classic was, right, Terra Luna was, and UST was, and everything that, that transpired as it was collapsing, you know, we could have seen this hit a dollar already. And the thing that stopped it was Doquan, right? And I know you may be like, well, he's the thing that started it to collapse and it was already there. If he would have never did what he did, then we would have never seen it. Well, there's a bunch of different factors in here. Actually, we have um, people that are saying or uh, articles that are saying SPF is responsible for the Luna crash with shorting the position and taking a huge position there. Um, but what I want to talk about is the crash and how we could have recovered a lot quicker, but we didn't because of one person, and that was Doquan. Um, I believe the community also had may have uh, may have had a factor, in my opinion, and not have gone the right route with everything. Um, but we'll talk about that as well. So, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos, um, and to get notified when I post a, a video or maybe get notified i'll put notifications out everywhere when i have uh live streams not when i have regular videos but when i have live streams um but yeah follow me on twitter as well and follow me on all my other social medias but what i'm here to talk about is uh terra luna classic and the fact that we could have already been at a dollar and you're probably like what are you even talking about we needed what we did was was great you know we established burns we decreased the burns we're establishing utility all the things that we could we needed to do um well the reason why uh you know terror rebels were fully established is because it seemed like doquan was giving up and he gave up on terra luna classic and every time it's mentioned it seems like he's upset that terra luna classic has a higher market cap than what terra 2.0 has and I think he made a mistake. He instantly jumped ship to another place to try and give people something more and say, here, here's a better option for you guys. Um, and we will give you this out of it and it will be worth so much more. Well, at one point it was worth uh, quite a bit and I was able to take some profit out of it. I wasn't affected by the Luna crash because I didn't buy into it beforehand, but I did uh, I was affected positively because I bought at the lowest low for Terra Luna Classic and saw it rise and gain quite a bit. But for Doquan, he basically did um, the start over approach where you know how if you're an artist and you feel like it's not up to par, you're drawing on the paper and you're like, this is not it. You rip it out, you crumble it up and you throw it in the trash. That seems like what he did with Terra Luna Classic. He crumbled it up and he threw it in the trash to where other people like the Terra Rebels picked it up and said, this is salvageable. We can do this. Um, and we started to do it. We uh, implemented the 1.2% at which that 1.2% was taken back in three weeks, which I think was another mistake to 0.2%. We're trying to focus on um, utility, the utility side of things, um, making sure DApps can uh, create and build on this chain. Um, seeing the 0.2% that's actually um, could be implemented elsewhere, like CoinIn and you know um, MEXC and all of these other places that did want to implement a burn tax to bring more users to their platform. Binance is doing a burn. We're seeing the supply decrease down, but we could have seen the supply decrease a lot more if we would have had Doquan support from the beginning. Um, and I I know that people are probably like oh, well, I don't support anything he was doing. And you're right. I think it would have, you would have had some sort of, um, you know, waiting period or we would have all been waiting to see, um, you know, how this all affects it. And if we can, um, oh, I forgot to put trash out. That reminds me. Hopefully they didn't take trash. I'll probably take trash after this video, but that's not what this is all about. Well, technically it is because Doquan threw it in the trash. But anyways, um, if he was a part of this, I think he we would have been able to get to a dollar a lot quicker. Now, hear me out. 
I think if he would have had, he has all the connections with uh, TFL, uh, you know, obviously uh, being able to be the decision maker behind there, um, implementing new things that could drive the supply down, um, implementing all the things that could bring more utility back to the chain. Um, you know, all of the things that he could have done to automatically get the support of maybe even others that are out there, you know, other exchanges to implement the burn tax on their exchanges. I feel like we could have had so much done there. Um, and we could have been to a dollar a lot quicker. We could have burned a lot more if he would have, uh, literally just looked at this and gone, okay, um, I'm, I'm pulling things. He could have literally gone, okay, uh, how can we decrease this supply? How can we get this back to normal? Um, Instead of saying, how do I distance myself from Terra Luna Classic, you know, um, and um, I'm sure he would have been able to build a lot more support for him personally by trying to recover what was there because people are still sitting in there with what they held before, hopefully or hoping that it will get back to one hundred twenty dollars, hoping that it will get back to um, one hundred or eighty dollars or forty dollars or something. Right. They're hoping people that double down, triple down to buy more in Terra Luna Classic because they feel as though it has the community, has the support to go a lot further. Um, so this may be just a wild opinion, but it would have taken time to adjust for people to get on board with him being there. But he could have definitely saved a lot of people's investments instead of um, literally trying to start over and airdrop people new investments that he believed could have been something new. I'm not a big fan of version twos, right? The only version two or another version that I'm uh, a fan of is Ethereum, right? They they adjusted everything um, where we have the ability to stake it. Uh, they're changing their uh, complete model and obviously for the better where energy consumption is low. I'm I'm a fan of that. But I'm not a fan of you giving up on a community that has millions of people behind it versus a new community here that's like, all right, well, you're airdropped these coins. I have to support it because I'm airdropped it. And I hope that things do run to a way higher level, right? Um, price wise and then utility wise as well. So in my opinion, and this again, it may be a strong opinion. People may not agree with it. But if he was there and we took our time to adjust he found ways to implement, you know, whatever burn tax we needed to implement, um, you know, approve of a lot of things that we wanted to get approved and actually give his opinion of how this can be improved. I think we could have seen this in a better, a better spot, a better light. Um, now, we never know if there would have been uh, malicious intent behind the ultimate goal. But the point is, is that we get to the ultimate goal and then we can see... Um, you know, this thrive. Now we have to go through all of these periods to where we had the 1.2% that was launched and I felt like it was great. It was dialed back down because maybe the community doesn't want to 100% know what they want. You have different people within the Terra Rebels that may not believe in what others say, people that are kicked out, people that um, agree but don't agree, uh, validators that are voting one way or another, the community absolutely split with over, over this, this, um, one proposal that we had being 40%, 40%, and then the abstain vote really pushed it ahead. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me. But this is my opinion. Let me know if you agree with it. If you don't agree with it, um, then I understand. But I just have a feeling that that would have been a way better situation, um, you know, trying to establish anything and having the opinion of Doquan after we got through this adjustment period and after he's proven himself to be trustworthy if he could be so anyways guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'm gonna get out of here and i'll catch you guys in the next video